everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to securely send sensitive information over the internet. That's a challenge in this day of cyber crime. It's very easy for a cyber criminal to get access to your emails or your sensitive files and exploit them, whether it be password information, uh, work documents, personal documents, or even family photos and videos, there are times that you want to send that information securely over the internet so that hackers can't get access to them. There's several different ways that you can send information over the internet. You can send files, you can send text messages, uh, you can even want to share password information, but the question is, how do I do it securely, safely and securely? Well, luckily I'm here to show you some ways that you can send that information and keep it out of prying eyes. Let's switch screens like we always do. Take a look at the Windows desktop and we'll look at some websites that will allow you to send that information safe and secure. Now, one of the first things that you can use to send documents over the internet would be either Dropbox or Google Drive. Both of these services store information safe and secure in the cloud. That way it will allow you to store that data in an encrypted online storage and it allows you to securely send those files to whoever you want to. Utilizing these services, you can just go in to each service, whether it be Google Drive or Dropbox, click a file that you want to send and then use the option to send that file securely. What that person would need would be a password to access the file from both of these online storage services. And then once the password is entered in, then it will allow the person to go in and actually access those files without any problems. So, I mean, that is a good option for you to use, but there are more options as far as sending files securely, and we're going to talk about those here in a few minutes. Next, what about passwords? What can you do to send out those passwords safely and securely over the internet? Well, the answer actually comes in the form of a password manager called LastPass. LastPass is an excellent password management system that allows you to securely store your passwords. The idea behind LastPass is to make sure that when you set up your passwords online that you can use different passwords and not have to enter that information in all of the time. Um, LastPass is free for starters and it's a great way to make sure that your online accounts are secure but at the same time, there is an option in LastPass that I'm sure many of you didn't know that will allow you to securely send out your password information. So if you were wanting to securely send a password to a family member or to a friend, you can definitely go into LastPass and make sure that you send uh, that information out to them and they will be the only ones to receive that password information. Pretty slick. I'm sure a lot of you thought with LastPass that you could only access password information or store your password information. But the good thing about this wonderful web based tool and app is that it does allow you to securely send those passwords out. Now, let's say that you want to send out a secret message to somebody. It's a great website for that and it is called One Time Secret, which you can access at onetimesecret.com. Uh, what you can do is you can paste a password, a secret message, or a link below, and it allows you to keep all of that sensitive information out of your emails and chat logs. Why do you wanna do that? Well, again, like I said at the top of the video, hackers are always looking to get access to your emails, especially if they're web-based emails or messaging service such as uh, Facebook Messenger. Um, so you definitely want to use something like One Time Secret to send out sensitive information. What One of the great things that you can do um, as far as One Time Secret, you can 
choose how long you want that message to be five minutes 30 minutes an hour uh, also it all it wants you to use a passphrase which in my opinion is one of the best things to do instead of a password passphrases are basically a phrase or a quick sentence that takes the place of your passwords so one of my favorite ones to use as far as a passphrase is stinky chicken um, and that no one wants to go near that right but that is an example of a good passphrase that you could use in order to keep your information safe so one time secret is a great way that you can make sure um, whatever you want to send secretly you can do so using one time secret um, one of the other things that you can utilize is within a popular browser or an addition to a popular browser Firefox has Firefox send and it's really easy to do as far as sending files the good thing about Firefox send is right from this website you could drag and drop a file up to one gigabyte in size uh, and then you can also have the option to select files to upload them to the web now if you have a Firefox account you can sign in and send up to 2.5 gigabytes worth of data which is quite a lot of space so if you've got larger files that you want to securely send you definitely want to give Firefox send a try uh, great and easy to use website that anybody can utilize in order to send out those personal personal and business files one of the challenges that Firefox send defeats is large files and that can be a big thing when it comes to sending out files over the internet sometimes with email services you can't even send out files that size now again you can use Google Drive and Dropbox to send out files securely but maybe you're not you don't have a Dropbox account or maybe you don't want to use Google uh, Firefox send is an excellent option for you to use in order to send out those large files to people out there now we've got another great app to or website to go and it works it's cross-platform it'll work both with Windows and with Macintosh items uh, and some of those other unknown websites that are not websites but operating systems that we don't talk about on tech tips for non-tech people because they're designed for techies anyway let's take a look at onion share version 2.0 or 2.2 which allows you to download a program that works for either Mac, Windows Ubuntu Fedora and Linux now these for most of the people that watch these videos have no idea what those operating systems are so let's just concentrate on the Mac OS and the Windows um, and the Windows program because definitely those will work so once you download onion share and the challenge is, is the person that you're sending files to has to have onion share downloaded onto their device uh, it will allow you to send files back and forth now onion share is a great option to use if you're constantly sending secure files back and forth to uh, people whether it be personal or business use that way you're not having to visit a website or you quickly get access to the internet in order to send out um, secure stuff now finally what if you've got a secure message to send out well believe it or not whatsapp is a great way to send out those secure messages and the good thing about whatsapp is will work on any platform Android iPhone Mac or even a Windows PC wonderful tool and probably something that many of you are already using so if you need to send out a secure message um, rather than sending out a text message download or go to the whatsapp website set up an account and that way you can send secure messages back and forth to people so that you can keep that data safe and secure some of the other things that you might want to think of as far as uh, sending information securely over the internet is utilizing the services of a VPN. A VPN or a virtual private network allows you to connect to the internet securely, especially if you're using uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot in a public location. But VPNs such as TunnelBear, 
NordVPN are good options for you to use if you want to send that information over the internet and not have hackers have their prying eyes seeing what information you're transmitting back and forth. So with that being said, if you have any comments or questions about sending files securely, leave them in the comment section below. I love how that works. Below. If you have tech uh, answers, or not answers, I'm the answer guy. If you've got tech questions that you want answered, be sure to either subscribe to myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert, or our my company, Integral. There's a logo right there. Both our YouTube channels and our social media channels are full of tech tips that are designed to help you get more from the technology that you use at home and work. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.